Welcome to this RapidRap tutorial. Within the next 15 minutes we will see how you can use RapidRap to compare data from many different systems with each other. The data comparison wizard is part of the RapidRap designer, the development environment of RapidRap. As with any other application we need to log on to a repository using our username and password. After a few seconds we will see the user interface of the RapidRap designer. We want to create a new report definition and we don't want to start from scratch. We would like to use a template for this report definition. So we select template and on the next screen we choose a template called data comparison from the list. And finally, we provide some labels. We give, must give our report definition a unique name. For example, sample data comparison. We provide a label and a version name. Now we press finish and the dialog closes. We now see the GUI of the RapidRap designer showing our newly created report definition. The report definition is now in status draft and can be changed until we finally release it. The GUI of the RapidRap designer is quite comprehensive and cannot be explained during this tutorial. If you have further questions, please have a look at the reference manual which you can find on the help menu or have a look for further video tutorials. We now go to the tab called Scripts. When we open the context menu on a free space in the Scripts area, we will see that we cannot activate the data comparison wizard now. This is because we have to provide two scripts first that yield our data that we want to compare. In order to do so, we would like to construct an example where we compare books from a table with books stored in an Excel workbook. So we create a script called books from table and we create another script called books from Excel. Next uh, we provide a link between the scripts and the data sources. In order to do so we switch to the tab called environment and we create a new connection. We give it a name books table and in the data warehouse list we choose RapidRap samples. This is a sample database that contains the books table. For the data source containing the books in the Excel workbook we use drag and drop and put it on to the connections tab and now we go back to the scripts tab and we select books from Excel and assign the books XLS data source in the source drop-down list and for the books from table we choose books table. Now we want to further specify the data that should be compared with each other. We open the database browser on the right hand side and go to the books table connection name. As this is the first time we are asked to authenticate ourselves and now we can see under the RapidRap schema and the table folder that there is a table called demo book and in the body section we enter a valid SQL statement. We can also use a drag and drop for the columns that we want to retrieve. So so that looks good. If uh, this statement works, we can choose the execute statement and here we see 
the first hand records so everything looks fine on this side. We do the same for the books from Excel script. Again we go to the database browser and select the table which in this case is called Excel books. We can also use the store operator if you want to retrieve all columns. Again we would like to verify that this script works as well. We have now two scripts that return the data we would like to compare and now we can start the data comparison wizard. We open the context menu in the scripts tab and start the data comparison wizard. In step 1 of 10 we first specify which of the two scripts belongs to the left hand side of our comparison and which script belongs to the right hand side of the data comparison. In this case we leave the selection as it is so the books from table is the left side and the books from Excel is the right side of our data comparison. In the output section below we can check which information we would like to see in our Excel workbook. The first three are the different error categories um, but we can also check the last one and then we see also the records that are completely equal. Uh, please note if we check the last checkbox that in case of huge database migrations for example that we need to filter down later on the results. In the second step we see the different attributes with the corresponding um, data type in brackets behind. And now we need to tell RapidRap which columns belong together. For example the book ID from the table corresponds to the ID attribute of the Excel workbook. We choose the map button and this attribute is also the primary key. We compare the book title and the title and to the same for the author, for the ISBN number, for the published date. Here we can see that we can also compare different data types. For example, the table has the date data type and Excel the timestamp. We do not want to compare the publisher, but we want to compare the stock. So the list below can be changed later on. Next we see all the columns that we have excluded from the comparison. We can add the book publisher to the output for information purposes. But for the publisher in the Excel workbook we are not interested in this information. In the next screen we see the different columns again. And we have the opportunity to provide an expression on the columns. Most commonly these expressions are used to influence the data type before the comparison takes place. In step 6 we can change the absolute and relative tolerance of all attributes with numerical data types. For example the book stock. In the lower section we have a list of all attributes that have a date or date time data type. For example a book published. Here we allow an absolute tolerance of one millisecond. Step 7 allows us to change the labels that RapidRap will use to populate the Excel workbook. Normally there is no need to change these default values, so we leave them as they are provided by the wizard. In step 8 we have the option to filter the results. By pressing Control space we get a list of available attributes that we can use for a valid SQL condition. And in the lower section we can further narrow down the results that are shown in the Excel workbook. For example if we enter the value 20 in the category for equality we will see no more than 20 records that are completely equal. 
Step 9 allows us to influence the order in which we see the results in the Excel workbook. In this case we want to see the results by descending values in the attribute book ID. In the last step we provide a name for the task that represents our data comparison. This task may be called later from tools like the report runner or the test runner. The name we choose is compare books. And now we are finished with this data comparison wizard and press the finish button. The data comparison wizard has now created a couple of functions and scripts in the background. We can also find these objects in our report definition. However, we recommend you not to change them. In the tab tasks, we can find our compare books task that performs our book comparison. We can call this task by the report runner and task and test runner later on. Before we finally release the whole report definition, we would like to make sure that this task performs as expected. We do so by selecting test report definition in the tools menu. The compare books task is already selected and we confirm by the OK button. And now RapidRap performs the whole data comparison in the background and presents the result in a workbook. We can ignore this uh, dialog, it has to do with my Excel version. And now we see the Excel workbook result. We can see that the overall result is failed. The compare books has a test result failed. And the reason is that there is one data set that has different values, that there are three records which are only in the table but are missing in the Excel data source and we have two records that are only in Excel but are missing in the table. To see the details we go to compare books and see the results in descending order by book ID. The column status contains the category of error and if we go to the column where the status is different, we see that there are two deviations for this record. To see which deviations there are, we go right and see that the ISBN attribute is different and the stock attribute is different. We can use this report for reporting purposes. We can also integrate this reporting into a test process by using the test runner or the testing CLI. If we think that our report definition works as expected, we go to the properties tab and we change the status from draft to the status released. The next dialog informs us that a report definition that has been released cannot be changed anymore. We may also provide an optional comment for this status change and confirm by pressing the OK button. We may call the data comparison wizard multiple times within one report definition. As a result, there will always be a specific task representing the data comparison. RapidRap can compare data from a variety of different data sources. For example, tables and views from virtually all databases, comma-separated files, fixed-length files, Excel workbooks and XML files may be compared with each other. So now we are at the end of this RapidRap tutorial. If you need further information on the data comparison wizard, please have a look at the PDF or the online help on the RapidRap designer. I hope you enjoy it.